Hi everyone, welcome to Knowledge Center. In this session, let us solve some of the problems related to the electrical utilization of power. Or in other words, we name it as utilization of electrical power. Here I am taking the module 1 questions which have been asked in the previous year question papers. So I am just solving the problems which have been asked in the previous year question papers. Okay. Here on board I have written one question regarding the electrical power utilization subject and here in module 1 we deal with the electrical heating, electrical welding and electrolysis process. So you get a problems regarding electric heating as well as electrolysis process. First let us consider the electrical heating parameters then we go for an electrolytic process questions together. So let us have a question number 1 here. The question has been written on the board. This question has been asked in the year 2018-19. The exam December 2018, January 2019. So recent question paper. Here the question is something like this. A 15 kilowatt, 220 volt, single phase resistance oven employs a nickel chrome wire. So there is a oven, electric oven. And that electric oven is having some specifications. Power is given, voltage is given and it is single phase. And the wire what we use, the electrical wire what we have used here is nickel chrome wire. That is nichrome wire for its heating elements. Okay. If the wire temperature is not to exceed 1000 degrees Celsius. So this is the maximum temperature it has to withstand. And the temperature of the charge is to be 600 degrees Celsius. So wire has to be heated up to 1000 degrees Celsius. But whatever the element which I am using in the oven to be heated means for example you take some bakery item when you order for a bakery item in a bakery they keep that item into a oven so that it can be heated up okay so that is called a charge here so that bakery item i will place it here so this has to be maximum it has to be heated up to 600 degrees celsius but the heat developed by this oven through the nichrome like wire should be up to 1000 degrees celsius so that is the temperature information and calculate the diameter and length of the wire so we have to calculate the D and L of the nichrome wire so that it can generate 1000 degrees Celsius and the charge can be heated up to 600 degrees Celsius. Assume radiating efficiency to be 0.6 and emissivity is 0.9 for the nickel wire, nichrome wire and its resistivity is given as so and so. The resistivity is going to be fixed based on the type of element that is nichrome. Now the question is very simple, they are asking you to design the nichrome wire and that nichrome wire should be capable of generating a thousand degree Celsius temperature in the oven, right? And because of some losses where we have radiating efficiency, coming out of that efficiency will be reduced. So and also emissivity, the losses, because of the losses, maximum I should get 600 degree for the charge, this is the condition. And even how much of power they have given that is mentioned here. So what should be the size of our wire which is I am going to use here. So you need to mention the, you need to identify the D and L dimensions of it. So uh, for this let me understand, let me tell you some simple concept here. We have a derivation that has been already done. We have go through, you can go through my previous videos. We have a derivation on D and L. Means there are two types of uh, design we actually get in the oven means the coil which we use, the nichrome wire which we use here, that may be in the form of a circular shape or in the form of a strips or rectangular shape. So for circular shape means the coil will be something like this. If I draw the three dimensional view, this is how the coil will be. It is going to have a diameter and also the length. Right. So when you are in using a circular type of a coil, then you have to identify what is the diameter we require and what should be the length of the wire. So that's what I, it has been asked in this present question. It's a circular type of a wire. Okay. I think it is mentioned in the question. If it is not mentioned, so you should be able to identify it based on the term which you need to calculate. When we are calculating the diameter means you will get a circle over that, right? So it's a circular type of a wire. If it was a strip, then it will be something like this. So if I draw the three dimensional view, this is going to be the strip, okay, rectangular shape. So then what happens, here also you have a length, length of the wire L and this would be 
this will be width so if you want to find the width and the length then you should understand that is a strip that is a rectangular type of an a coil okay so now according to this question you just need to find diameter and length so it is a circular type of a coil so we have to use the formulas which are derived for a circular conductor that derivation has been already done those video is also available you go through that okay so i will use that formula to solve the question i hope this is clear for you see if the points are clear don't forget to press the like icon and also put the comments in the comment box so that it will motivate us to put more videos here so uh, let me come to the formulas now so as i have decided that it is a circular type of an a coil so the for formulas which we use here already have written it here the dimensions l by d square can be given as pi v square by 4 rho p rho is nothing but a resistivity we use this dam this formula now using this i can identify what is l by d square is equal to but my requirement is to just find the separate diameter and l so first let us see this how can we find this value yes we can because we know the value of voltage that is 220 just substitute it and get the answer we know the resistivity it's given here resistivity of the nichrome wire is so and so and it will be fixed even it is not mentioned in the question you should be able to recall it because resistivity of a material is going to be fixed and power what is the power we are applying 15 kilowatts so here you have to mention it as 15 into 10 to the power of 3 or 15000 right don't just put 15 here you put it as 15000 and once you simplify by putting all those information we get a answer for l by d square so that would be 24 lakh 9 to 4309 so this is the number which you need to get you will get it only just such simplify it substitute the values and get the answer and let me name this as equation 1 we got l by d square is equal to so and so but i need to find an individual values isn't it i need to find an individual values so after this let us try to have an another formula where i can get this l and d so i have written something here let me tell you how we got it right so whatever the input supply i am giving 15 kilowatt or 15000 watt is an electrical energy i am giving electrical power i am giving okay i am giving that to o1 so the heat liberated out of that o1 element heat generated in the o1 is to be equal to this right so input and output has to be equal right because of some the, these losses will be there but that losses will, be, will also be considered in the output right so finally we have one concept called h h is nothing but what according to the stefan's law the heat liberated through a radiation in a oven the heat liberated it may be oven or any furnaces the heat liberated through radiation can be denoted as h and this is given by stefan's law and that h is equal to so and so the formula is given here h is nothing but heat liberated through radiation per unit square area so whatever the formula i have here we can write it as watts per meter square so this is the heat liberated h is indicating the heat liberated per unit area so if i want to find what is the total heat liberated by the nichrome wire how can we do that we can do it with a simple concept the total heat liberated can be given as heat liberated per unit area into the total area so what is the area what is the surface area surface area of the nichrome so if you have a circular type of an a coil the surface area of this can be given as pi d l so this will be a surface area if it is a circular if it is a strip we get different formula so if you are a that's why i told you you need to identify whether you are finding a circular kind of a wire or if you are designing for a strip based on that the formulas will change so now heat liberated per unit area into total area will give you the total heat liberated right and that total heat liberated by an atom wire should be equal to the power given so power input is 15 so into p equal to p that's what i have mentioned here h into pi dl is equal to p so why i am using this is because here i have dl so i will if i simplify this i will get some information for dl let me take it as equation 2 and simplify with so substitute in 1 and 2 you will get the d and l separately okay i hope this is clear for you so now using this what we can do is we can say that dl is equal to power 
divided by pi into h. We know power that is 15,000. Pi is a constant. But what is h? So that is heat liberated per unit area. For that h we have a formula here. See if you want to solve any problems you need to know what kind of fo formula we need to use. So to get that you should start with the basic formulas. Okay. So once you get this you will get a question that what is the next step. Then you should try to get an alternative methods, alternative formulas. So that's what I am doing here. Right? So now you need to find h. So what is the formula for h? This is here. This is the formula. So 5.72 into 10 power 4 into k. k is nothing but the radiating efficiency. E is nothing but the emissivity. Okay. So we got that efficiency and emissivity here. So we will get a, a, a result, actual result of a heat into the temperature 1. That is nothing but the, the heat liberated by the nichrome wire T1. That is 1000. And it is in degree Celsius, but here it has to be converted in Kelvins. So plus 273 has to be done by 1000 to the power of 4 minus T2. That is the heat of a charge. That is 600. That is the 600 degree Celsius plus 273 by 1000 to the power of 4. Substitute the values. We know what is T1000. T2 is 600. K is given 0 0.69. Is given, e is given as 0 0.9. Substitute it and get the value of H. So let me write the value of H here. So finally when you simplify this, H is equal to... Here we get H is equal to, let me see the value, 63,174, 63,174 watts per meter square. Okay, so we got H, so once after getting H, you can get DL. Okay, therefore, I will write it here, the value of DL is equal to, that is P, 15,000 by pi into this value. Substitute it and get the answer. I am just going to write the answer because substitution you can do it easily using the calculators. That won't be a problem at all. Okay. But whatever the value we get DL, I will make some small change here. DL is equal to this. That's good. That's fine. But here in this equation, what do I have? I have D square and L. So let me try to get this as D square. So what I do, I will, uh, instead of finding DL, I will do it like this. Okay. Let me write it. Therefore, D square L square is equal to. I am just squaring these values. If I square this, what happens here? You need to square even this portion also. Both this side, I am just squaring it. So, P by pi H whole square. Okay. So, once you square that, let me write the answer here. We get our answer something like this. So, once you square that, therefore, D square L square is equal to, we get the simplified answer. 0 0.00571216 so here i can say that therefore l square is equal, sorry d square and you can write this as equation 2 equation 2 let me come to this point later so we got equation 1 and equation 2 right so in equation 1 we have l by d square is equal to so and so in equation 2 we have d square l square is equal to so and so I put this L square to the LHS, RHS side. So this divided by L square will be equal to D square. So put the D square here. So it will be, it will be getting in the form of uh, only L. Okay. So L by L square is nothing but your L will cancel. You will get L in the numer denominator. Then simplify it. So by simplifying this so equation 1 and equation 2, we get individual values for a L and D separately. So let us write that. Let me write that answer. Here the value of uh, D is equal to 0 0.00311 that would be the diameter value of the nichrome wire that is the diameter what we require okay so it is nothing but it is in terms of meters so you can write it in terms of millimeters that is 3.11 mm 3.11 mm similarly we get L so the value of L will be 24.24 meter. See here I am not substituting because the substitution is an easiest way. You can put it in a calculator and get it. But the thing is you have to understand the logic and I hope the logic is clear now. Right. You need to remember the formulas. Here we have a designing of a circular strip, circular conductor as well as designing of a rectangular strip. So based on that this formula is going to change. H formula will remain same. And if this equation 1 and this formula is going to change based on the circular and the rectangular. I have shown an example of a circular one.
So in my next video, I will take up an another question which has been asked in the video question papers. Let's solve that one. If it is clear uh, like this, and even share among your friends. Thank you.